Welcome to Cinepack Studio. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through our tiny Tokyo set. Welcome to Cinepack Studio. This is our North Hollywood location at 6855 Vineland Avenue in North Hollywood, California. Parking is available up against the red and black building in the front and along the side. We have two neighbors with driveways, so we have to keep these areas clear right here. Back here is a gate that's sometimes open. If you have talent or crew parked back here, their cars may be locked behind the gate and will be towed. Definitely relay the message to your crew because we would hate to see that happen. Once you arrive, head into the entrance and check in with your site rep. Once inside, we're gonna head to the right and there is an open area here where you can host talent, you can have crafty. Then we have our two restrooms right here. Then through these doors, you're in tiny Tokyo. For an easier load in or if you're pulling cars in for the shoot, we recommend using the roll up door. One of my favorite features we implemented in the Tiny Tokyo is the ability to turn on and off all the lights with these simple remotes. There's a lot of practicals in this space, which really helps sell the effect that it's nighttime. A lot of the lights are RGB and customizable with either an app or a remote, like these ones here. Even the stoplight is controllable and fully functional. So here's the bus stop area. It features a bus stop with the stoplight next to it, as well as the newspaper stand. This is our video store. The sign above and the lights behind the TVs are both RGB and can be controlled with an app. You can actually play your own footage on all the TVs. Just bring in a USB with an MP4 on it and it will continuously loop your video. This is the Tokyo Plaza. Both pillars are controlled with the RGB app as well. To the right of that, we have our alleyway, which is covered in graffiti. This is the ramen shop and the bar. To get behind the ramen shop, you enter through the bar. Both the ramen shop and the bar are just fronts. The ramen shop also features red lanterns and red tables. You can also roll down this door to make it look closed. As you can see, the bar front has neon lights and a bar sign right above it. This is our Happy Mart. It features a payphone out front and a glass window to do transactions. Inside the Happy Mart, we have tons of LED lights that can be dimmed with a remote. The store is full of all prop food that is either expired or has just been replaced with filler. Heading towards the back, we also have this set extension brick texture along the wall. Along the side through the video wall, we have two restrooms in the back, both with multiple stalls. Then we have our green room, which features two vanities, full length mirror, a clothing rack, a changing area, a steamer, and couches. Lastly, here's a view of Tiny Tokyo with the house lights on. Off to the left, you can see two building facades that we built, so if you need to get an over-the-shoulder shot, you have something to point the camera at. If you didn't know, we actually do have a 30 foot by 12 feet high LED video wall with virtual production capabilities. If you're interested in adding the LED wall onto your production, just let us know and we can give you some rates on that. We have tons of gear rentals available and we have the whole other side of the studio. We do have another side of the studio that includes motel rooms, a vintage living room, bedroom, retro room. Please make it known if you're gonna be recording sound on the day of production so we can coordinate and make sure there's no other productions going on for the vintage sets. 
Here's some examples of some videos that have been shot on the Tiny Tokyo set, just so you can get an idea of how it looks on camera. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message us on Peerspace or shoot us an email at cinepax.studios at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyler with Cinepax Studios. We hope to see you soon.